All right. New island. New place. New people to talk to. New spooky things to happen. This place I find is the particularly the spookiest, the spookiest of the places. What is it? Do you need help? I like your dog. Hello. <laughs> I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. Oh my god, it's the sea turtles all over again. It's just the, the sea turtle story from Sea of Thieves earlier. All over again. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring up? Can you bring me an aged, an aged, conger eel? Yes, absolutely. Where can I catch one? They can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. And did I mention that they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Anything else? Hello, Terry. How's it going? How you doing? Uh, no, uh, no, no. We are not, we are not playing. Nope. Thank you for reminding me. We are not playing Sea of Thieves. We are playing Dredge. Just do a, do a cheeky little refresh and it should update. I just, I just changed it. Thank you for letting me know, though. Uh, we are playing Dredge. This is a spooky fishing game. This is fishing game, but it's spooky. Hmm. Look at, look at this man. He could be spooky. Uh, the wrecks around here. Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moves to... Oh, right. We can't... Right. We gotta go over there. Uh, anything else? Have you heard about any strange things in the area? Mm. Just posted our scorecard in the pickle chat. Very nice. You can post it in the Sea of Thieves as well if you want. Maybe issue the challenge out. Four hour Sea of Thieves catch every fish challenge up to you you don't have to uh some time ago just after the last whale was brought in there was a sudden exodus from gale cliffs dozens of ships sail past packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could they were waving and shouting something at us from their boats but we couldn't quite make it out never did see or hear of them since cool okay bye Yeah, I, I, can, I can handle that one. I can handle that. I'll try to get to that tonight or sometime of the week. Let's go talk to the merchant. How's she doing? Hello. Oh, hi there. You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm a traveler and a merchant. I'll roll into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a sm small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to, to pursue the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. Oh. I'm ready to trade. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each all right, this just gives us the legendary fish quests, which is great. I love those. The ore fish, our best friend, the ore fish. Uh, gulper eel, the Goliath tiger fish, and the. Oh, is he going to say it right? Is he going to say it wrong? Is he going to say it right? It's the coelacanth. I know a little about each species already. So maybe I can point you in the right direction. What did you want to know? I, I know where they are. I got it right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, no, I don't need that. Thank you, though. Um, okay, so what do we what do we do here? Mm. Okay, this is just where we can upgrade again. Do we have any new materials? I don't think we do, do we? We haven't really dredged much. Uh, okay. Noted. Have you met the photographer? She stopped by my platoon, pontoon, a little while back. She's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be, uh, document everything you do? You'd never forget anything. 
Uh, kind of sucks, actually, having a phone, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, she said she was set setting up on a small island to the south of the Marrows. Okay. Good to know. Catch rare fish. Um, messages. I'm not getting into any of the lore. I, I know it already, so I don't want to read it again. As interesting as it is. Uh, let's do some fishing. I feel like I haven't fished in so long. I'm ready. Boom, look at that. Tiger mackerel. Shit. 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 Ooh, we got the flayed mackerel. Look at that. Ooh, it's gross and spooky. Uh, this game is so good. <laughs> it's so fun. I love the because it, it. I love a game that introduces like a unique kind of fish, right? It's always cool to have realism and stuff, but it, it's always more interesting. I think like with with uh, fantasy life earlier, the apple fish. Like I love that kind of stuff. Breadfish. All that. Oh, it's best. It's the best. But like at the same time, Animal Crossing is also like really fun, and that's. Mostly real fish, right? Mostly real creatures that exist. Sometimes the names are a little different than the traditional name that they go by, but for the most part, it's all real. But it's fun. So it, it, it kind of depends, right? I can't sell things here, can I? No, I can't. To brave being insane for a little bit. Sorry, right. we all go a little insane from time to time. What's that? Uh, fish market. I'll buy. I'll buy any fish you want to sell. Also have crab pots. Okay, cool, nice. Maybe we should uh, get some of those out in this area because we want to make sure we grab all the fish in this area. Sell those. Let's uh, let's buy two crab pots. Why not? And we'll have a nap. Um, let's get these dropped. I really didn't use crab pots at all when I first played this. Then I think I should have. Let's drop one like right here as well. I don't want to go in there yet. I'm not ready to go in there. It's spooky. Oh, salmon. Nice. I love salmon. Yum. Boom, look at that. Getting stocked up pretty quickly. Oh, decaying salmon. Oh, spooky. Uh, <clears throat> you guys scared? Are these fish scaring you guys? <laughs> I'm spooked. Uh, you're so spooked? Okay, cool. Uh, all right, we're we're all spooked together. It's great. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles toward you. Ah. Greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. That's what that other old guy said. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. Hop on me boat, my son. It's not that simple. My brother would never... You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Uh, has he ever been to the moon? Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all of this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? 
That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature. It dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. Heck yeah. I'll find your whalebone. Uh, get all of these notifications off of my screen. Um, okay, so I think we need to go in there now. Because I think it's in here, right? There's a trick to this. If we... If we wait for him to come out, maybe? Oh, he's already seen us. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ow. I hate him. I hate him. Ah, I hate him. I was going to try to sneak around, but he snuck around and got us first. Okay. All right, you know what? Let's We'll try that again next tomorrow. We'll try that again tomorrow. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Let's dredge a little bit. Oh, my goodness. I hate him. Easily the spookiest part of this game is right now. The other parts didn't bother me. But he, the big eel, for some reason, is the spookiest. Whoa. Equipment broken. Ah. I've never seen that before. I didn't realize that was how that worked. I don't know if I've ever tried to fish with damage before. Hmm. Thank you so much, Amber, for hanging out all day. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. I hope you uh, had, a, had, a, had good background noise and or entertainment. I appreciate uh, hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Sleep tight. We will get ourselves repaired. I don't think we can upgrade too much. We've got two more sections for uh, engines, but we don't have any one-slot engines, so it doesn't matter. This is this is where my one complaint about dredge comes into into uh, into play. I wish all of these were in the one menu. Why do they all have to be in separate menus? It's the same person. Like, give just give me a tab up at the top that lets me swap through them. At the very least, I hate having to exit out and go back in each time. But that's such a small, small, tiny little nitpick. The rest of the game is perfect. I love it. Uh, okay, we're repaired, so let's... Ow. Let's grab that dredge that's over there. Or the fish, I guess. I thought there was more dredge. A wreck fish? Oh my goodness, he's a large boy. Big, 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 big lad. Ah. Thank goodness there was only two. Um, what do we got over here? More fish. Smaller fish. Ooh, different mini game. I like this one. It's fun. It's easy. <laughs> oh dear. Um, to sell our stuff and then maybe have a look for conger eel I think is what we're looking for we gotta let uh, let some conger eel rot a little bit ah. sell 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 kong kong Card G? Conger? Conger eel, I see. Not Conger. Conger eel, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Salmon. Can't really see much at all, can we?
stonefish and some dredge. I think we fished in that stone stonefish pile earlier. But where was the dredge? Ah, right here? Yeah, let's grab it. Is that cloth? Shapes in the deep. Metal scrap. Also useful. I think I need... I need whatever it is. Silk or fabric. Bolt of fabric, I think. I think I need one more of those for an upgrade. But, can't seem to find any. And we've just fished our sanity away. Oh, God. The decorator crab. He's got... I like his hat. I like his hat. He's a bit of a horrific crab to spot. Because <laughs> he's just covered in stuff. But uh, he's got a nice hat on. <sighs> I'll still buy fish that aren't totally fresh, but if it's completely turned to rot, I can't pay you anything for it. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. It's to be expected, I think. We can put our metal scrap on some of these, though. Oh, what is this? Cargo hold? Okay, we could cargo hold increase. That might be alright, actually. We can get better engines, then. We still need cloth for there. And cloth for there. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Two more engine spaces. She's got some more engines, right? Or do we want to... What other engines can we upgrade to? Because we've got... Two research points. If we could grab this. No real need to, though, if I'm honest. 26, because we kind of skipped the mid-tier and went to the higher tier. We don't have enough space for this yet, I don't think. Or do we? It's 52.5. No, we don't yet. We need two more engine spots. So I think we're probably good on engines for now. We'll probably just grab... Oh, no, we need this. This is what we need. So maybe we'll put our research points into this for now. We still need a few more. But that's all right. We should find some in this uh, in this area. Mm. Oh, no, I want storage. Uh, we still need to sell some of this stuff, though, but I'm, I'm doing alright on money for now, so I'm not too concerned about it. We'll just sleep this whole day away. I'd rather not go out as an insane person, and I don't want to go out at night, so... Sleep the full day away. Get a fresh start to the day. Uh, okay, we've got another decorator crab there. But we're gonna go into the cliffs. We're gonna go in. We've got rock crabs there. Take those. Alright, we're going in. Take two. Is he gonna come at me from the left again? So if I loop around here, I think, which was going to be my original plan, ah, didn't work. I need to just go this way immediately. All right, let's go. We'll go repair and we'll have another go at it because that was a that was a quick attempt. We could try going in that way as well, but I don't know where he comes from if you go in that way. I got holes in me ship. Help. Please help. Thank you. He moves around the cliffs randomly? I've just had bad luck. Oh, really? Okay. Because he's come from the same spot twice now. Get away from me, wind. Okay. I'm just going to go over this.
this way. Where is he now? Oh, there he is there. Yeah, okay, so this is working. We just need to get into where the waterfall is. And just away from him. Is this the right way? I think I'm leaving. It's not the right way. Uh, it's a different way. Oh, the handling. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Go, go, go. He's still coming. Can I, can I get in again? I think I can. Ah, uh, it's not blown open yet. Oh, no. Oh, maybe he's left me alone. Oh, another altar. Okay. Didn't know this was here. What do you want? Crab-like structures. Oh, okay. Uh, rock crab? No. Maybe a crab I don't have yet. Alright, something to keep in mind. Take note that that's there. Um, I guess we'll catch some fish on our way back. Ugh. That's the crab pot altar? Nice, okay, I'll make sure to get that one then. Absolutely. You said you liked it? It's a good one. Oh, goodness me. Okay, how's this gonna work? Uh... It's a tight squeeze. There's gotta be a way. <laughs> there might not be though. <sighs> I'm so stubborn though, I wanna keep looking. Ah, uh, it's this fishing rod. It's so awkward. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, Mr. Krabs. We need to get back in to where the friendly people are. Not there. Not yet. You want to be going this way? I'm kind of lost, actually. I think it's around this way. Ah! Didn't realize you could hit those. Did something spooky just jump onto my boat? Is there something wriggling inside of my... My hold? It's my least favorite message to see pop up on screen. It's so gross. Uh, yes. I'm not quite insane enough to touch this rock. So very lost. The fog is so deep. And thick. Okay. No, I, I was where we. I thought we were. Mmm, delicious tea. Not knocked over onto the ground by a cat. Fantastic. Uh, there you go. I'm actually, before we go to bed, let's check our crab pots as well, because I think we've got some stuff in there now. Oh, boy. Two of those guys. And also... 
one of these guys and one of these guys. Oh, so maybe it's two of these and one of these. Yeah, oh, it must be. All right, we'll hold on to those guys. We'll have a sleep and then we'll go put those guys into the crab pot thing. I thought the decorator crab was bigger than that. Uh, do we want to go over now? Uh, we probably should. I don't want the fish to rot. Sleep one hour? Good idea. I forgot you could do that. There we go. A little bit more than an hour, but... That's fine. I think you can get there through here, right? I, I don't... Is this blocked off? I can't remember. I don't think it is. Should be fine. I hope our friend isn't around, though. Stick to the outer... Outer part of the islands. He's close. He's close by. Where was it? Did I pass it? Or is it? No, it's up here, is it? Man, I didn't see any of these ships. When we came this way. Where, uh... Where are we going? You and I play this game very differently? Oh, yeah? How, 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 how do you play? Granted, I'm I'm playing much differently than I would normally play, like in my spare time. I'm I'm. This is stream stream playing right now. My regular playthrough of this was much 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 slower. The three crabs shudder, legs clicking into strange angles. Though long dead, some unseen power commands their corpses into action. The crabs scuttle over the altar, disappearing into cracks into the stone. In the stone. Oh god! Suddenly the rock splits in two, revealing a sunken chamber at its core. Mouth of the deep. A formidable cage with a vast gaping maw. Cool. Yep, glad we did that. Slow and meticulous about efficiency. Yeah, that's fair. There's definitely room for that playstyle here as well. Yeah. I, uh, I just like getting quests done, so I just do what I need to do to get the quests done. Well, in my original playthrough, I was a bit slower and a bit more meticulous about planning my days ahead and stuff like that, you know, but now that I'm kind of familiar with the game and how it works, I'm just, just kind of doing what needs to be done. There's no sense of exploration anymore, so. Uh, wouldn't mind getting that bigger hole. <clears throat> Is that the way we came in? No. Nope, not ho actually. You know what? Let's hog back. <laughs> they left. <laughs> they were like, "Nah, never mind. Fuck that." Is this a conger eel? It is. Oh, <laughs> it's so big. Oh, we need one, though. Shit. Oh, well. We'll come back. We shall return to the conger. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I think she said congers were only at night. I, uh, may have forgotten, but no, I think you're right. 
I think you're absolutely right. Good to know, though. We'll probably sleep through the day here, and then probably uh, maybe try to get those congers oh, taken care of. Get out of my boat. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh no! Rock crab has got an infection. Sorry, it didn't rot, which is great. Uh, we'll get. Oh, we just repaired that. Okay, good. Um, we'll get that in the lake as well. That one will come with us. The the really good crab pot will take to each location that we go to. To maximize catching as many of the crab. Oh, God. Hello, sir. I didn't know he came out here. Oh, I did not. Sorry. Uh, the crazy clouds at night only chase you and make you insane if your light is on. I didn't know that. Okay, good to know. That's super helpful. Learned that late in the game. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, I, well, I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> I had no idea. That's a helpful tip. A very helpful tip. Melty bath mustard gas. Gas returned? Melty bath mustard gas. <laughs> you know what? We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Another one. Controls on the board right now. We're just wiped out tomato town. My friend has gone down. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park streets. Look at the map. Go to the mark sheet. Hell yeah. Welcome back, Sassy. I hope you enjoyed your bath. Was it a, a rego bath, or were there some some salts in there? Were there some bath bombs? Was there a bubble bubble bath, maybe? Or was it just a, a rego? A good but rego. Alright, we'll sleep until night. I'll try to get this conger taken conger taken care of. There were substances and bubbles. Excellent. A fantastic bath. Show me your conger. Where is it? Maybe not night enough yet. I don't want to have to go too far, so I'm hoping one spawns somewhere around here. When does night take effect? 8 o'clock-ish? Doing big spins. Oh, the cliffs only. Yes, they said that. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's do a loop. But they are they were on the outside of the cliffs. Because we found them. So we'll just circle around this side see what we can find. We don't need wood, we need fabric. We need to go to Fabricville. It's the insanity rock. Ten years dungeon? Oh my goodness. Ten years dungeon. You know what? I don't have a single lemon grab sub alert. Friend? Big friend? Big Bill? Big Bill? Big Bill! Big Bill! Go, go, go! He's here! <laughs> go, go, go! I don't want! I don't want! <laughs> no! Oh, he's so mad! Go, little boat, go! Go, little boat, go, little boat! 
He's still coming. Go, little boat. Why am I so slow? Go, little boat. Why am I not moving? I blew out my engine. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize. I didn't know you could do that. Did I haste too hard? Is that what does that? I didn't realize. I guess, yeah, I, I, I thought I was paying close enough attention to the meter. I didn't realize it got full. I didn't see it happen. Damn, we're so slow. Dude decided to leave us alone, though. He's a nice guy. Oh, my God. Ghost shark didn't. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. My whole body. Please. Repair me. <laughs> oh, okay. That was rough. That was a rough try. Sleep it off. We'll sleep it off. Yeah, I, uh, I don't have any lemon grab sub alerts. I think I'm going to have to change that. I might try to put in some effort this week to uh, add a few more of those. I might try to do a few more swallows as well to get a few more swallow faces on the menu. Um, okay, what's our plan? Try again, I think. I'll just try again. We'll explore now, and then we'll, on our way back, have a look for the conger eels. And maybe in a different location. You know what? I'm not going in that way anymore. It's cursed. I'm going in this way. It's safer, and I trust it more. I want to get in there, maybe? Or no? I think the thing I need to dredge is back there. We'll grab this cloth because we need it. Quickly, quickly grab the cloth. Quickly, quickly. Oh, oh. I don't know where he is. He could be anywhere. The call is coming from inside the cliffs. Okay. Slowly make our way down this way, because I think it's by that shipwreck, the thing that we need. Quietly. Quietly. Look, the wind even wants us to go there. Let's grab it quickly, quickly, quickly. Is that it? Oh, no, it wasn't it. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know why I thought it was over here. What is that? That's the wreck fish. Okay, we don't... We caught plenty of those earlier. We're good on those now. In a different video game. Okay, we can't we can't go into the waterfall area until we blow up the rocks. We can't blow up the rocks until we find that guy's crest. Where is the crest? It's in here somewhere. What where? Nighttime now, too. We should have... Uh, we don't have that much room. We're not going back without a conger eel, though. We need that conger. Let's organize a little bit more. I don't know if we can get one in there, no matter how hard we organize. They're so big. Maybe... Because they're big, but they're like two by two-ish. We'll see. We'll see. Gotta find one first. That's the trick.
here to check in on me. Hello, how you doing? Doing great. Check in. Excellent. Two. Two. Uh, two hairy thumbs up. Okay. Never mind on the eel. Never mind on the conger eel. Abort. Abort idea. Have I eaten today? I have indeed. I had myself uh, some Keith's leftovers for supper. I've got myself a nice cup of tea here now. I've had about half a bag of goldfish uh, original snacks. I've got... My water is in the fridge right now. It's cooling down because I had it on my desk all day. Uh, but I have been drinking water. Yes, I've been, I've been doing well. I've just had a sip of tea. We lost all but the one bolt of cloth, which is a pain in the arse. Thank you for checking in, though. It's very kind. Very, very kind. Um, okay, so we'll upgrade our hooks, because that's, I mean, might as well. Do we have any hooks that we can buy? Do we want another hook? Fishing speed? Is that 11% fish fishing speed? It doesn't seem worth it. We've already got another hook that we can attach anyway for free. Don't we? Oh no, we lost it. Or we didn't. Uh, this is our starting one. Um, I don't really know why we're using this. We're doing all right on fish. Like, I'm not... It's not slow. I definitely don't need any more speed. So, we'll leave it for now. For coastal fish, I know, yeah, but... We've, we've got another faster rod that could also do coastal fish. So, like, it doesn't seem... Like, it can do two, I guess. So, later it'll be useful. Because we're going to want this side for, like, the mangrove and stuff. But for now, it's not not really helping me out. But we'll keep it anyway. Okay. We're going back in. we got to find where this guy's pendant is or whatever it is. The crest, I think he said. Uh, and this way proved to work out well last time, so we're going to go in this way again. Let's search around this way. Because we kind of went down that other corridor already. Oh, God! He was just right there. I heard the scream, too, but I didn't stop. Oh, we don't need that. All right, we're not doing too bad, though. We didn't really take a massive hit. Well, <laughs> I want to find the thing we're looking for, though. Or some cloth. Some cloth would also be good. Ah, oh, okay. This is it here. Oh, but our friend is here as well. Okay, so this is the waterfall area. I didn't realize you could get here if you just went a longer way. But I get it now. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Hanging out with our friend Orfish as well. Handsome guy. Is he gone? Okay. I didn't realize it lit up gold, the thing we were looking for. That's very helpful. Yeah, family crest. Okay, get me the heck out of Dodge. 
Let's see if we can find ourselves some congers on the way back. We'll keep our hull empty. And we'll stick close to the cliffs. And we'll keep our eyes out for Big Bob. No, I know. Where is he? I know no congers in the daytime, but we're on our way back and it's about to be nighttime, so. We'll keep our eyes out. Keep them peeled. Like a grape in a Halloween bucket. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, we, we've made it back. <laughs> it's too late. Let's go give him his family crest. This is going to help out quite a bit. For getting around, anyway. Uh, uh, Hermit. Hello again. What can I do for you? You found it! I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now, I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother at Ingfell? Tell him. Tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home. Sure. Sure. I mean, you could come with me and you could give it to him and ask him yourself. And I won't have to come back to get you. Holy... Matt. <laughs> Matt, do you see all these crabs? Holy crap. That's a good crab pot. Damn. I can't believe I missed that in my first playthrough. That's so good. It's passive money. Constant passive money. With like, a, what, a, a three-day repair cycle? That's not bad. Crab pots can be quite profitable. Yeah, you don't say. You don't say. <sighs> Wowzers. Alright. Let's go talk to the brother. Poor art thou brother. Uh, retired whaler. How interested you, are you uh, in uh, space travel? I believe this crest is yours. I haven't seen this since. So you did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? I don't know if I was in a right state when he left. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being. But I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliffs seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I'll have some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Uh, I know exactly where it is. Thank you. Going back to Marvel for a second. Yeah, Game Nut. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. I know exactly where these explosives are. Right around this corner. Now, is he going to pop around this corner like he did last time or nah? Yes. Where is he? There he is. Okay, we'll just lead him this way and go in from the other side. Hopefully we'll get away from him and he will go on a different path, leaving us free and clear to get the explosives. Maybe not. Uh, a pile of loose debris in the gaps between the rocks. You can see what appear to be large white teeth. There's a long white fuse. Yes, please ignite it. Get me out of here. Yeah. They aren't doing IMAX. 
and limited screenings of the Marvels because Dune 2 and other films are coming out at the same time. They're banking on it flopping hard already. That's too bad, man. That's too bad. But I mean, hey, it's their pro prerogative, right? Provocative? Prerogative? Prerogative. Prerogative. I don't know. I think the Mar I, uh, I'm interested in the Marvels. I don't know. I might be the only one on the planet, but I'm I'm interested. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be interesting. I don't know. I haven't seen Dune, so i not excited. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's good. I've heard it was great. I, I want to see Dune. I'd like to read the books as well. You've done it. We heard the blast from here. Gods, the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come, it out, come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Not so much as a fisherman right now as I am an Uber. Here, brother boy. Brother bear. Get on me boat. Before Big Bill comes around. Hello again. What can I do for you? Your brother forgives you, and he's found you a place to stay. That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old, I hardly remembered it was there. <laughs> I'm packed and ready to go. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Uh, the hermit climbs aboard with all of his belongings. Excellent. Completely with them. A character with a polarizing fan base. And I don't mean the Brie Larson stuff. And needing five other shows and movies to build up the plot, I can 100% see why. Yeah, it, it, it... I don't know. The MCU was... rough to get in... get into, to begin with. With, like, four or five movies. But now that you've got to see so much to get into... People are just getting tired of it, I think. And that's, that's totally fine. Because you've got to watch so much stuff to even prepare to go see one of these movies nowadays. So, I mean, yeah. I, I, it, it makes sense why it's not why it's not working. I mean, nothing can stay around forever, right? Nothing can stay popular forever. But, I will keep watching the content <laughs> as long as it keeps coming out. Because I'm enjoying it. The Marvel movies are the only movies I still bust to the theaters to go see. The hermit notices the old whaler sta standing on the dock waiting for him. Look, brothers reunited. Oh. Little brother, you're home. I'm so sorry, I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bags. Can one of you uh, build me a bomb, please? Stranger, if you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Yes, let's go. Oh. Come by the old whaling yards anytime. Mm. Like now, for instance? This one's on the help. This is for all your help. Thank you very much. On the house. This is for your help. I hope you can put them to good use wherever you find cause for it. Oh, yeah. 40 bucks each. Let's grab, like, two more. I don't know how many we need for this area. I don't re I don't exactly remember where it is we're trying to get to. Is it just behind these rocks here? We might be finished here now, actually. That's it in there, I think, yeah. I think that's what we're here for. Uh, use explosives. Kep, kep. Boom! Let me dig up the dredge. This is the music box, I think. Yo. Excellent. And then we get this done. Just for an extra bit of booty. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, 
I'm not going to go anywhere yet, though. <laughs> We're going to have a quick sleep first, and then we'll head out. Bring that lockbox back to the uh, collector. Uh, no fish. We gotta sell all this stuff, too. I'll store one of those for now. Uh, take that with us. Yeah, we'll keep one of those on our, on our person just in case. Uh, I can't fast travel back yet, can I? I don't know how. So we want to be going northeast? Northwest. This way. Towards the lighthouse, of course. Toward that there lighthouse. Probably gonna need. I feel like we're gonna need more explosives, more explosives than that as well. But I we'll have to make a trip back. Or I think you can. You might be able to get them from the uh, traveling merchant now. What's the second place? Do we go to the swamp next, or is it the? Is it the kraken? I can't remember. I like the Kraken area. The Kraken area is nice. Spooky as hell. But it's cool. Hello, the Collector. I'm home. You've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You drag the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The Collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons, trailing from the crimson bound book, opening opening it to some unforeseen page. Unseen page. Tur turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. You can feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Manifest. Ah, now we can teleport back. Keep looking. The reef at Stellar Basin. Ah, it is the Kraken next. May have caught uh, and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Nah. Bye. Okay. Stellar Basin. Uh, south... Southwest. That's a pretty stellar basin, bro. It's gotta be pretty, like, pretty calming and chill to have your own little sailboat, little tugboat kind of thing. Just calmly, quietly making your way across. Maybe not like the ocean, but like like a really large lake or pond or something. That, it's got to be cool. Just chug chugging along, you know. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. All right. This area took me so long to figure out when I first played this game through because I didn't realize that the research sector was there. I just kept getting so turned around on myself, not knowing where I was, and uh, didn't realize that I hadn't checked the research center, so I didn't spawn any of the quests that you need to do here for such a long time. I was just catching a bunch of fish. I was like, this is cool and all, but 
there's any story to progress here? And, and all of a sudden, I found the research center. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was me, not the game. Nice bit of dredge there as well. Look at all this. Look at all the bioluminescence. It's so pretty. All the pinks and the blues. And the who knows who's who. <laughs> you gotta honk high to your friends. Even if they're definitely not our friends. The laboratory is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards. Research. You empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuate to fort. Okay. Look around on the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Research. You pluck an item from a gouge in the floor. Take a look at the generator. An old generator sputters and ticks over. Lovely. There he is. There he is. Look at him down there. Oh, baby. He's a big one. He's a big one. If Kraken turns red, time to run. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. We don't want to be caught by that guy. He's not someone you want to lose a game of tag to. <clears throat> Mr. Duck. Brave rubber duck. How you doing, sir? Welcome in. Welcome in. I say, sir. I don't know that. Welcome in, my friend. Welcome in, my friend. We've got no red kraken just yet. You've over-melted, Sassy. Oh, no. Now there's just a melted mustard on the ground. No! I turned off my light! Ah... Many-eyed mackerel landed on deck. What? I didn't know fish could just hop on board. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Mm. You don't look so great, friend. When's the last time you got a good night's sleep? Hey, listen. Don't even worry about it. Finish this section today. Fun times. Very nice. Very nice. You're enjoying the game then? You're having a good time with it? It certainly sounds like it anyway. Always good to hear. I like hearing about people enjoying themselves with the video games. That's what they're for. What were we looking to get? This. Jet engine drive. Yeah. Oh. Nothing wrong with different combining different engine types. Funny you mentioned that, actually. 300 each? Oh, man. All right, we got to do some fishing. We haven't done any fishing in a while. Let's have a bit of a sleep. A bit, a bit of a sleep. And then uh, we'll do some fishing in this area, because there's a lot of new fish to catch here now, all of a sudden. Ate a gummy and forgot. Repeat three times. Oh, my goodness. Brutal. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. You can handle it. Already planning a second playthrough with some challenges. I'm hooked to the game. Ah, hooked. I see what you did there. What kind of challenges do you have in mind? I love a... I love a... I love hearing about a good challenge in a video game. They're always fun. We actually just did a, did a uh, fishing challenge of our own, actually, in Sea of Thieves, which was a fun time. Uh, let's 
grab a few more of those. Because we can. And it's free. No sleep came to mind, so panicking all game. Oh my god, that, that, that'll be brutal. That'll be tough. That'll be tough. You'll be constantly losing fish and stuff too, right? Just gotta be away. There must be a way. So close. Oh, no. All right. Sorry, little guy. Had to discard you. I'd love to see a, uh, a no sleep run of this. That would be that would be really interesting. I'd like to see just how difficult it is. I don't think I'd like to do that one myself. Dodge all the tornadoes and monsters and honk at the crows and you'll be fine. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Might not be that... Mm. Might not be that difficult. I'm bad at games, though, so... <laughs> mm. I'll let somebody else try that one. I'm gonna move that explosive into the storage just because... Uh, Alright, we've almost got enough for one of those new engine upgrades. I'm bad too, that's why it's going to be a challenge. That's a good point. Alright, fair point. Very fair point. Uh, just trying to get that one engine upgrade and then we'll uh, go over to the research center and have a look. No, I... I the atmosphere of this game, the collection aspect, the little fishing mini games, like everything about it is just it's just very very good. It's definitely one of the higher tier fishing games out there. Oh. She takes a book from a nearby shelf and hands it to you. Flicking through it, you see pages, uh, you see page corners turned in and handwritten notes in the margins. Excellent. Thank you for the Uh I'm just realizing now we left our crab pot behind. We've got to go get it. Uh, thank you for the book. I want that crab pot back. Because I want to put it down here. Um, alright, well we'll sleep and we'll go get that crab pot. We'll spend the next day going to get that crab pot. <laughs> I don't want to leave it behind. It's going to be filled with crabs too. Because we've left it behind for a few days. So, that's good. Uh, grab the engine. New engine first. Before we leave. Here we go. Stardew invaded by Cthulhu. Perfect game. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Um, I mean, it does lack the farming and the dating sim, but as for the fishing part, it's so good. It's very, very, very well done. If they come out with a dredge too, that's a uh, that's like a release day game for me, 100%. Or even like a DLC or something for this one. Like I'd love to check that out. I would like more of this. From what I could tell as well, it was it was fairly su successful, yeah. DLC coming at the end of the year. Oh, so they're already doing it. Excellent. That's good to hear. Love to hear it. It's always nice when little indie games kind of get uh, get popular and uh, get good backing and stuff. It's just nice. It's just nice. Realizing now, I could have probably teleported back to the middle of the map and then... Uh... And then went to Ingfell that way. That might have been faster. Might still be faster. Nah. No net for passive catching fish? Uh, I haven't upgraded to nets or anything yet. I'm, we're still fairly early on. I'm just kind of rushing the story. I've uh, I've played the game 
quite a bit already in my own spare time. But uh, w one thing that we like to do here on this channel is if I play through a game from start to finish uh, on stream with VOD proof, nut. we nut um, and we all celebrate. Uh, no, <laughs> thank you, Edville. We like that. We do like to nut around here, all the same. Uh, but uh, if we finish a game uh, on stream, we trigger the credits. Then I get a magnet, and I put that magnet on my fridge, and I've got a big collection of games that we've completed over the years. So, as part of this fishathon, I'm just kind of trying to make it through the story part of this game as, as quick as I can. So I'm not really focusing on trying to get all the upgrades and all the money or anything like that. I'm just kind of. Just kind of trying to progress the uh, the plot as much as I can. Oh, well, oh. hi Advil. Thank you for that. <laughs> Very good timing. Uh, we've been streaming now for what? We did thirteen hours yesterday. We're on our eleventh hour of today right now. Uh, every subscription adds to the timer by half an hour. We're capping it off at 36 hours, but we've been doing only fishing in games all weekend. It's been great. Thank you so much for the follow as well, Rubber Duck. Appreciate it. Great way to keep the ball rolling. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and just like every streamer, of course, we've got a Discord and, and a community and, and all that kind of stuff too, which you can check out. Um, no pressure, of course. As I always say, I understand how it feels to go into a streamer's stream and have them pester. Chop, come join our Discord. Do this, do that. Do this, do that. No, do this, do that. I freaking hate hey! Me. Thanks so much for the prime sub. Let's go. Look at that. Activates a capogen as well. I didn't realize that they, they, they did that. That's fun. That's a lot of emotes. Dang. That's a lot of emotes. Um, and that's going to add half an hour to the timer. I don't know. Did it automatically happen just now? I feel like it did. Did it actually work? Thank you so much, Brave Rubber Duck, for the uh, for the sub. That's huge. That's huge. Follows in a sub? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We can uh, pick this up now as well. This is coming with us. Enjoy the emotes that you've unlocked as well. They're very, very strange. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to ask. <laughs> I will try to explain them to the best of my ability. The spinning fibs. We love the spinning fibs. Uh, I think this time we will actually take the quick way. Oh. Disorienting. Uh, southwest again. Ah, so many fish. That's so funny. Look at them. They're massive. Massive. I'm so glad I got the emote wall working again. There was just one simple step that I was missing every time I tried to fix it over the last few weeks. I, I took my time and I looked at all the options and I finally realized what I was missing and finally managed to get it to work again. And should now remember how to get it to work. Did anybody notice that that timer automatically had the time added on? Or if we were at 5.10 already? I, I didn't notice. The orcas are back. Hey guys. How you doing? I hope you're not clumsy. Get it? Is this dredge? Grab some loot on our way, might as well. Oh! Didn't add, it came in. Okay, I didn't think it did. Alright. We've been having a lot of trouble with these lately. So what do I need to add to it? I need to add 30 minutes, and it was at, like, what, 5, 5.10-ish? So we'll go 05. Uh, 05. Forty? 
Oh, six. I wish one of this freaking worked properly. There we go. Updated. Updated. One of your friends, Terry, in Florida is seeing Rhea right now? Oh my god, that's amazing. Doing a house show in Florida. Okay, dope. That's awesome. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> Not. I'm jealous. Nut need... Yeah. Appropriate nut. That was an appropriate nut. Apparently, Advil, there's some uh, uh, wrestling going on in Florida right now. Rhea Ripley from the WWE. An absolute legend. Oh, boy. Rhea Ripley from the WWE, yeah. They, uh, they must be in Florida right now. Mommy is in Florida, yeah. I just sent you a TikTok, actually, about Dominic Mysterio. I don't know, and I, and to be honest, I don't care about anything wrestling. That's totally fair. That is totally fair. <laughs> it's definitely not for everybody. She's a very talented... She's very talented at her job. And we stand. I'd rather read my book. Uh, mm. Right, okay. So we're just here to sleep. And apply crab pot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can not be interested, but also be totally fine with other people being interested. It's all good. Wrestling is very, very weird because if you if you never give it a shot, which is fine. If you never give it a shot, you'll never understand. But most people just don't want to give it a shot, and that's that's fine. That's fine. It's like anything, really. S Mr. Streamer Man finds a weird way to say, if you don't try it, you'll never know if you like it or not. Oh, there you go. If you watched it as a kid and it wasn't for you, then you know. Yeah, it's just not for you. No, that's fine. That's fine. It's a very, very different and strange form of entertainment, that's for sure. I like the concept as a child because it looked pretty gay, but Rhea is something. Yeah, oh, she's something else. You got that right. Yeah, she's incredible. Uh... Sleep time. Sleepy time. What the fuck, Richard? That's what I'm saying. Thank you for the hydrate, Advil. Back to lurking, but I leave you with this. Ah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Ah, uh, sipping on my tea. Making good use of my tea heater that I bought. As processes. Uh, orders. Demands. Plotline? Dumb sometimes. Yes, dumb most of the time, I would argue. Very rarely do you get a good plotline in wrestling, but the wrestling itself is fucking insane. It's so wild. They do so much cool shit. <laughs> so the plot doesn't matter, because that dude just flipped around three times and then landed on his head, and that's his job? What? The best way I've heard wrestling described when it's done properly recently uh, was a carnival act. And it's exactly what it is. It's, it's Cirque du Soleil presented in a very, very different way. And, and not as athletic. Because Cirque du Soleil is, like, beyond. That's insane stuff that they do in a different way. But, like, man... The acting is also cringy sometimes, yeah. But that's because a lot of them are forced to read scripts these days, and they didn't used to be. Um, and the scripts that they write and force them to read are just awful sometimes. Hello there. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Yes, I thought you had the look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. It's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help. If you had the time. 
I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. <sighs> a large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I would argue that wrestling is drag. I mean, it is, it is big over-the-top performances with a bunch of men in over-the-top crazy costumes throwing each other around. I mean... I wouldn't call it drag, but it's definitely got some elements. Like those are there are some flashy costumes and stuff sometimes too, right? There there are definitely similarities to wrestling and drag. 100%. 100%. Over the top, you know, overacting and like stuff like that. It's yeah. Definitely a lot of similarities. I fled here and have been making do as best as I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with the different fishing strategies to collect all of them. This one took me a little while, too, because I couldn't figure out how to get everything. But I think it was mostly because I wasn't using crab pots. The characters that people create as well, yeah, because they're all fake personas, right? And it's all about getting you to believe that that character is real. While also really, really admiring the person that is performing the character. Because some of those characters are weird as shit. The Undertaker? Are you kidding me? Dude pretended to be an, a dead guy. For 25... However, however long it was. 30 years? And he was like famously known for never breaking character. How weird must it have been to meet a guy who was pretending, always pretending, to be a dead man. But like... The determination and dedication to the character is just incredible. Like, that is true performance art at its finest. So, I don't know. There's a lot to appreciate it. A true drag king. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> right, okay. We need, we need those fibs. We need an octopus. We need one of those squids that we found earlier and then we need uh, a different type of squid I think we might need an abyssal hook actually octopus yep we gotta catch them we gotta catch them and donate them to science I don't think we need this guy but we might as well grab some for some moolah Cash prizes. I would stand by this comparison if it meant that RuPaul got suplexed through a table because they're not a good person. I don't know anything about RuPaul, if I'm honest. But listen, seeing anybody get suplexed through a table is fucking great. So, you know, suplex me through a table. I'll have a good time. I'll have a good time. It probably hurt like hell, but like. Sign me up. I think we might have to get a lot of this stuff at night, too. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, let's just keep fishing. No need to sleep. Um, no, we don't need you. I don't think we need the grouper. We don't need dredge right now. There's some decent, there's some, quite a bit of stuff around. Is that what we need? Do we need one of those? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm thinking it might all be nighttime stuff that we need. So let's do... Well, let's just fish this dry, and that'll pass the time. And then we can sell these and make some money while passing the time. Little islands? Yeah! There's little islands all over the place. And there's a gigantic kraken in the middle of this one. It wants to kill us, so we've got to be careful. <laughs> 
dangerous fishing. How's the dredging? Uh, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. We've made it to the second area now. With old, our old pal, Mr. Crack, Mr. Kraken. Mr. Kraken. Catching some glow, glow, glow octopus. Glow, glow octopus? Glowing octopus. Look. He's so handsome. Look at him. Uh, I hope you had a nice lie down. Always good to take a break after, uh, extended computer usage. Okay, let's not fill up on octopus too much here. Um, oh, we might need a net, actually. The net, I think, I forgot. The nets are how you get the jellyfish, right? Or one way that you can get the jellyfish. I think that's what I had trouble figuring out last time. Oh, I should go to the research center. Ah, oh, but I could have a net. Ah, oh, ah, oh, choices, choices. Okay, it's night time. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's just go back. Are you back out in the tent tonight, Terry? Or are you guys inside now? Uh, I don't want to sell all of these. I want to keep one. The research lady. Uh, yeah, so we need to upgrade. We need to research nets, which we can't do yet. So I guess we don't do that yet. Oh. Yeah, no, do I need to buy a net first? No, surely not. Oh, we do have better lights unlocked now, too. We could upgrade. 2,100 lumens versus 1,800? I mean, that's a pretty decent upgrade. I'm doing it. What would everyone's wrestling name, but also you have to use it as your drag name, too? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, I've already had a small list of wrestling names in the past. Would you like to hear them? We could also get another engine. Uh, one of my wrestling names was... PBJ, which, yes, does indeed stand for peanut butter and jelly. Um, why is yours still Sassy Mustard? It absolutely is. It absolutely is. It's the perfect wrestling drag name. Uh, I also had Mind Freak was another one. Um, I also had Glacier, which is another one. Which is already a wrestler. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't try to steal the name. I just didn't know that they existed. My bad. Uh, and I think I think that's the end of the list. It wasn't a very long list. They weren't very creative. <laughs> Alright, how do we unlock nets? I'm very confused about that. Use, do we just need to research other things, maybe? Do I need to research my own crab pot first? Let's do it. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to buy any more crab pots. We've got the old Ultimo crab pot right over here. Go donate that octopus before it rots. Oh, one we got a, we got one in here. All right, that's good too, though. Let's do ourselves a nice big donate. We can grab some of that dredge on the way back as well. Just a lot of material floating in the water there, so that's great. We'll grab that. Researcher, hello. Uh, yeah, I've got 
this one for you. We managed to catch a bunch of firefly squid already, but I haven't seen any since. We do need nets. We do need nets. Let's see. Tell me about yourself. I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There was no, there were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at Northern Biological Research Society, and then, well, I was posted here by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet, out here. It's just machines. Okay. 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 I always leave about four crab pots per port. It's a lucrative business. Oh, I totally agree. Crab pots are definitely the way to go. I can't believe I missed out on them the entire first time I played through. Like, it wasn't until I got to this spot where you require the nets that I was like, oh shit, I should start using these things. Oh, the crab pot story. Let's grab these dredge sections. Oh, we probably just need to upgrade our cargo, our, uh, our, our boat a bit more. That's probably why. We're not big enough for nets yet. So we should maybe focus on that for a bit. There must be a way. Yeah, that's got to be it. All right, we'll do that. We need to upgrade our boat a bit more. We're rushing the story a bit too much. <laughs> beep, beep. We're here. Boom. Uh, what were we doing? Selling. And then floating dock. We gotta get this finished. So we need cloth. We need to go find cloth. I feel like there's some back where we just came from. Let's go grab those dredge spots. Have any of you guys ever gone anchor, or uh, sorry, magnet fishing? I'd like to give that a try sometime. That would have been a good uh, a good thing to add onto this uh, this subathon. Honestly, take my phone, go out and do some anchor or a magnet fishing. That would have been fun. You need a pretty powerful magnet, though. That would have taken some time to prepare for. I'd definitely love to give it a go, though. At some point, you never know what you're gonna find, right? I would, I would be a bit nervous that, you know, you'd find, like, a gun, like a murder weapon, and then all of, you've got to report it to the cops, and then suddenly they're asking you questions, and it's like, oh, I forgot, well, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. But, I mean, you could find a murder weapon and then help solve an unsolved crime, which could be cool. Different ways to look at it, I guess. You could find, like... An old uh, uh, relic of the past of some sort gets donated into a museum or something. That could be cool. Not if you throw it back in. Also true. Also true. Disregard. Where are they? Yeah, there's some shipwrecks around here, aren't there? And with quite a bit of dredge. Yeah. Quite a bit of debris that we can dredge for. Hopefully some cloth. Or loot. That's good too. Bag of doubloons. Metal scrap? Man, we really just do not need metal scrap anymore. Not right now, anyway. As soon as we get to the next upgrade section, we will, but for now. Where's all the cloth at? 
Hey, yo. Where the cloth at? There's some boxes scattered haphazardly on the shore. Let's look inside. Cloth. And also a map. And also earrings. And wood. Take it all. Take it all. The place where that map leads is actually nearby here, isn't it? It's like really close. Isn't it like, isn't it like down, like down here somewhere? I can't remember. I never completed the map. I think I found like two pieces of the map and then I recognized where it was immediately. I just went and got it. <laughs> That was very satisfying. That was very, very satisfying. All right, we've got our cloth. Get our last upgrade for here. Oh, we needed two cloth. Oh, cruel, cruel punishment. Cruel, cruel world. Okay, that's fine. Man, we are stocking up on some loot. We're gonna have to sell some stuff soon. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. No fish to sell. We have a nap. We have a quick nap. And then we look for cloth again. Check the uh, outskirts of the island here. Let's go around the edges. I don't really want to do this, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna investigate it anyway. We're gonna have a look at it anyway. <gasps> He's a crab. He's a giant crab. He's so mad. He's so angry. I knew that would happen, but I didn't want to go up to it anyway. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me on my first playthrough. Scared the absolute bagibas out of me. Oh, I want to go in there. Two explosions. Two explosions. You with gloom hands. Oh my god, okay, so I have... I've played so little of Tears of the Kingdom. I keep seeing people talking about how terrifying gloom hands are. I still have no idea what they are. And it's making me even more terrified to play Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I've got no idea what they are. And they sound terrifying. Your first time seeing them is terrifying? I can imagine. They sound horrifying. They sound awful. Don't forget to rescue the doggo. Oh, no, goodness, no. Doggo's got to come with us. I didn't know where to bring the doggo on my first playthrough, but now I do, which is great. I know exactly where doggo's going to go. Uh, okay, no, I don't want to touch the stone. Blow it up. No need to open the both sides, no, but it's it's faster to get out. Although, we can save. We can save the uh, the explosion. You're right. Okay, we don't need refined metal. We will. It's difficult to get, but we don't need it right now. I want cloth. After the 20th time, you get the courage to face them knowing you'll fail. Oh my goodness, they're hard too? Scary and difficult? Oh no. What is this, Elden Ring all over again? Scary and also difficult. Um. Ah, here we go. I said it before. Uh, I think it might have been yesterday or the day before. Um, I had no plans to stream Tears of the Kingdom, but I can't convince... I, I have no interest in sitting down to play it in my free time because I'm a little bit zelda out because I just streamed Breath of the Wild this early this year. 
But I think that might be the perfect reason to stream Tears of the Kingdom. Gives me a good reason to do it, you know what I mean? So we might end up streaming Tears of the Kingdom, and it's going to be like my first reaction to everything, which is, which will be different. Because we don't get that very often. I finished the... I finished one temple, and that was it. Do I have room? I don't know if I've got room. How big is he? I don't have room. There's no room. Okay, sorry, Doggo. I'll be back. I'll be back. Tomorrow. Every time you touch those rocks, I had no response. What do they do? Uh, I think they give you a brief glimpse into the lore of the island, but you need to be pretty insane. Your insanity needs to be pretty high for it to work. It, like, shows you an image, I think, of, like, what happened here. I think that's what it does. I, I've never really done them myself either, but I think I've seen it in another playthrough or, or whatever. Sassy, I think you should absolutely play some more tur turmoil. There are more achievements to be found. Mm. More oil to be dug. Four net spaces. Hooray! Okay. Uh, research. Nets. Excellent. Okay, we've got our first one researched. Uh, shipyard. Nets. 250. 300. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll save up for the 250. Let's do a bit of fishing. Dress. Who on earth would want to fish? Wait, can I start upgrading stuff again? Yeah, we can. Um, because I don't want my storage to fill up this much. And look, there's that scrap metal that we needed. Nut. Nut! Newfie Nate! How's it going, my dude? What on earth? Thank you so much for the raid! How's it going? Thank you, Tom Cat, for the shout-out to Newfie Nate. Newfie Nate is also... A, uh, Newfie, surprisingly enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, which I am as well. So if you, uh, if you want to go over and give, uh, Nate a follow, if you haven't already, uh, it should be fairly easy. It should have just popped up right on your screen. Just gotta hit that follow button. Um, I don't frequent myself too much in, in many Twitch chats. Uh, but I do, I am quite familiar with, with Nate. And he does quite a lot of charity streams. Um, which is just remarkable. You love to hear it. So massive shout out there to uh, to Nufi Nate and uh, shout out to all the charity work that you do, my friend. It's 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 wild. It's wild. You love to see it. How was your stream? What are we up to? Team fight tactics. Ooh, a tactics game. How'd it go? Did you win? Did you win? We're going to go see a, better, a man about a dog. I feel bad for leaving him there all night. Oh, look at those fish. Look at those fish. Didn't even come close to winning. Oh, no. But did, but did you have fun? The dreaded question. But did you have fun? Always good. Okay, we we love to hear it. We love to hear it. Hi, doggo. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around. Look how cute he is. Occasionally, it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is inefficient, inefficient, ineffective. You jump off the boat into thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses focuses on you. Uh, slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little ways. It sits. Uh, have some fish. You throw some scraps towards the dog, which land in the sand. The dog eats them, along with a mouthful of sand. <laughs> uh, slowly approach. 
You start to walk closer to the dog, but it runs away nervously and hides in some bushes. After a few moments, it emerges again. Call out. You make suck. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> the fishing has been great. The fishing has been going very, very well. We, uh, we did quite a bit of fishing today, actually. Um, this is Dredge. This is a Lovecraftian-style fishing game, which sounds very bizarre, I know, but it's great. It's amazing. The dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Hold some fish out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. Pat the dog. It seems to understand that you're not a threat. Pat the dog. You pat the dog again. He seems to be enjoying it. Pat him again. You make your way back towards the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Let it follow. This time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard, it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get into the boat, you turn around and pull the dog aboard. Ah, look. You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. So I didn't figure this out on my first playthrough because the quest for the dog says find the dog a home, right? And I say he is home. <laughs> I've done the quest. He's mine now. I will love him and cherish him, but for some reason the quest does not count as being completed. Wants me to give the dog away or some nonsense. So I guess we'll do that. I know where the dog goes now, thankfully, so we can we can go take care of that. New pet dog, woohoo! I know, right? That's what I was thinking. But no, the game doesn't want you to have a pet dog on your boat. Knowing the ending of the game, I can understand why. All right. Uh, this area that we're in, Newfie Nate, has a different, uh, has a bit of an interesting mechanic. There's, uh, there's a bit of a, bit of a hole in the lake. And there's, um, there may or may not be a friend who gets a little bit angry if we, if we, if we bother him. So we need to keep him, we need to make sure that he's, he's fine. We need to make sure he doesn't, uh, get angry at our presence. Is there a way you can overwrite the game so you can own the dog? I wish. I wish. Hack into the code and change it. New challenge, keep the damn dog. I kid you not. When I decided I was done with my original playthrough, I had the dog saved in my storage. I didn't know where to put him, so that's where I kept him. He lived on my boat. He became mine. I didn't complete the quest, but he became mine. Hello again, what do you need? This dog needs a home. Do you want it? Mm. A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. <laughs> I could definitely take this one off your hands. I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah. Yes, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly the dog... The dog? Pardon me? The dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. That's, uh... Oh, retch. I don't... Yeah, I read that wrong. He ate a ring. In our eyes, you completed the quest. Well, thank you. That's what truly matters. That's what truly matters. Who needs achievements when you've got the acceptance of your friends, you know? Oh, the game spelled it wrong. Oh! It was the game's mistake, not mine for once. That's nice. <laughs> That's a nice change of pace. Alright. We need money, right? We need $300, I think it was, to get a net. So we need to get some fish. Let's grab some of these octopus.
fish bash bosh. That's probably not going to get us up to 300, but I forgot we had wood as well, so we'll just go get rid of that first real quick. They're hom hominins. Which, what does that mean? Next playthrough, I'll go get the dog ASAP and keep him with us on the boat. Keeps the crows away from our fish. I wish. Yeah. It would be interesting if keeping the dog on your boat uh, came with, like, a perk or something. That would be cool. Like a, like a scarecrow kind of, kind of thing. Uh, same pronunciation and or spelling, but with different meanings. Oh, okay. That may, yeah, I see what you mean. Um, I think we can catch the tiger squid. Or the, the other, the, one of the other things that we need. Without the net. Because I caught some earlier. We caught a bunch of them earlier. But we'll just focus on the net for now. We'll check the crab pot too. We might have some stuff in there. In a while now. Uh, to wretch is to begin to vomit, or at least make the noise. A wretch is a sad or miserable person. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. Right, 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 right. Please go away, Mr. Tornado. Thanks. Where's our crab pot? Did we pick it up? Does that octopus have teeth on his tentacles? Yeah, so there's um, there's a lot of mutated fish in this game as well. And that, that is one of them. Tornado probably stole it. You're not wrong. I hope not, though, because it's very, very valuable. But we can get ourselves a net now, which is great. Uh, slowly drag a net behind us. Boom, and then that can go in storage. Okay, so now, now it's a good time for us to have this this rod, because now we can't catch shallow fish. But with this one, we can. But we can still have a net. So now, now this is worth having. Sleep for a minute, just to get our sanity back. And now we've got a net. Let's see. Get that thing going. Uh, oh, nice. We got a red snapper. Uh, needs repair. Okay, I thought it was broken. So we don't have much in here. Shit. We don't have the inventory room to, keep, to take it all and also the... Okay, well, we'll come back for it. Sanity is usually good to have. Uh, I don't recommend going without it for too long. Hoard and hoard a lot. Yeah, for sure. Bedtime for you. Good luck with the fishing and even more luck with the abyss. Thank you so much, Brave Rubber Duck. I appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate all the support. And uh, hopefully we'll see you around soon. Enjoy your evening. Get some good rest and uh, take care. Appreciate it. Uh, let's sell these guys. Just like that. We'll go grab our big crab pot, get it fixed, and then get it back out in the water again. Hi, buddy. Hi, sweetie pie. How you doing? Uh, we don't need those guys. We really just need to wait around until nighttime now to get the two types of fish that we need. So we could just kind of like boat around here a bit until nighttime. Where is it that we need to use the net, Matt? Is there like a specific place or just anywhere around this area? Oh, God. Latching snapper. That doesn't look very pleasant. That don't look very nice. 
And yeah, we're gonna have to start catching abyssal fish soon. That are just down way, way, way too deep. The net has its own inventory as well, right? Forgot about that. Switching to mobile. Gotta be back in a few. No worries, no worries. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Let's see. Kind of did a bit more of a larger loop than I anticipated, but that's fine. Some dredge. Or some debris. Broken spectacles. Cool shades, bro. Okay, it's nighttime now. Let's see if we get any of these squid that we need. I think it'll pop up. Oh, we got one of the squid that we need. The firefly squid. Okay, now we just need the glow, glow jellyfish or whatever it is. Hopefully we get one. Cross our fingers. Just gonna drive around until we do. Just gonna drive around until they do. So when I in my first playthrough, again, I thought I saw these pink jellyfish and I thought that there was a way to catch them. And I thought I was just doing something wrong the whole time. Which was uh, a little frustrating. But uh, eventually I just grabbed a net to try to see what it did and then got one of the jellyfish and I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. We need to get our, oh, hello? We need to get our um, crab pot repaired and back out in the water as well. that now I suppose sell the few fish that we've got not the ones in our net though we need to keep that that firefly squid hmm. pay attention how deep the water is not every type of fish likes deep water check your encyclopedia if you're not sure oh, okay good 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 idea no I sold everything Shit. I held the button a little bit too long. Okay. Let's just drive around a little bit more. Where do these glow squids live, I wonder? Let's see. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Look at all the different types of fish. Shallow, maybe? Oh, this is... We're selecting what we want to be looking at. I see. Uh, okay. What's, what do they look like? We still didn't get the conger eel. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Nighttime, stellar basin, trawling with a net. Okay, so I guess it's just anywhere then. Doesn't tell us how deep they are. All right, so we just gotta hope. Hope that we get something in the net. Ah, oh, look at that. Brilliant, brilliant. What timing. We need another jellyfish squid now, unfortunately, but little bit of driving around. We'll get one of those sooner than later. Forgot to repair the crab pot again. Get that plunked down and we'll probably get what we need from that. Plus the net. So that's what we shall do. Uh, 
shipyard. Mm. Repair. Thank you very much. And storage while we're here, too. More loot. Cool. Slightly insane, currently. But only slightly. Could be worse. And we've got both of the things that we need for the researchers, so we can just make our way back over there. Man, I, I thought we were going to be able to finish this uh, this Kraken area tonight, but uh, we're coming up on the end of our uh, end of our time here now. We're going to do our bonus hour, but the timer will pause, and we're going to do our, our bonus hour that we've unlocked. We're going to do some ice fishing. Let's go. Things are going to get real cold in here real quick. Here, look. I've got you this. I got you this. Mm. Looks like you've caught all the surface specimens I need. But ah, uh, yes. I do also need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. Why is that a problem? I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples, but while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some protocol parts. Carefully. I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out at the reef at night. Okay. Well, let's just try to do that real quick. Because it's just over here. And it only just turned daytime. So we might as well make the most out of this last day that we've got. I imagine we'll be doing a little bit more dredge tomorrow. If not tomorrow, we'll probably try to finish the game up throughout the course of the week. Because again, I, I do want the magnet. I want this magnet on my fridge. I want the dredge fridge. The laboratory is in ruins with equipment. Yeah, we know this. We know this. We were here already. Uh, equipment. Let's grab it. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go. What is that, man? What is that? What is that? Looks like an oarfish, but not quite. That is some cold tea. Ugh. Icky, icky, nasty. Alright, we've got your research parts. Uh, yes. I've got your prototype parts. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make it may be able to make some improvements. So we've got an abyssal rod now, which is great. Uh, that's got to go there, and that can go there. Install equipment at every slot on your ship. Achievement unlocked. Let's go. Let's go. I've developed a repulsion repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. Mm. Connect it to the researcher's outpost generator. You'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it'll be completely automated. Great. Now take a look at, list, at this list of specimens. You want to install and activate the machine before attempting to, to collect these. You might also need to improve the equipment I gave you to catch some of these some of these as well. Right. So these two here, the anglerfish and the loose jaw, are abyssal, which we can catch with this rod. But we need to upgrade this rod to enable for halal fish, um, like this giant amphipod and also the snailfish. So we do need to make some upgrades. So we've got quite a lot of things to do still. I have not kidnapped the dog back. No, no. He's enjoying his bone. So I figure, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let him enjoy the bone for another little while. Uh, okay, we can upgrade our net as well. Or our rod, sorry. 
Uh, but we just need one research part, and we don't have any right now. Um, it can fit there too, though, but we'd have to detach the net to move this hook over. All right, that's fine. We can manage that. We'll have a, a bit of a sleep. And the subathon timer, boom, gets paused. So we've got, we'll round it up. We've got five hours. Five hours on the timer for tomorrow morning. So at the very least, tomorrow morning, we are going to be streaming for five hours plus the bonus hour. So we're, we've got at least a six hour stream ahead of us tomorrow morning, which is pretty huge. Which is pretty huge. Thank you guys for the support on that so far. It's been it's been insane. It's been wild. I hope you guys have been enjoying this as much as I've been. It's been it's been really fun. Um But we're gonna put we're gonna put Dredge on hold for now. We will revisit Dredge. Um possibly uh tomorrow. Um, it's been alright. I've only been here all day long. I know, you must be sick and tired of hearing my goddamn voice at this point. My god. 